Alan Sanders here, and uh, welcome to another video update and ramblings. Uh, just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys for a minute, uh, update what's going to be going on for the next little bit here on the channel, and uh, just talk for a minute. I, uh, well, first off, um, just finished doing some recording on a new episode of uh, Xander's Place. Uh, it's not any, either of the two that I've been working on. It's something different. It's a, a one-off episode. Just uh, wanted to do something a little different because I'm sure a lot of you are getting kind of tired of seeing Darkness Within and Civ 5 videos all the time lately. So I wanted to get something else on Xander's Place. So I decided, you know, uh, to pop onto my PS4 and uh, play a game. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what game it is. Uh, I'm going to be working on the video uh, for the next little while uh, through the night because it's uh, already going to 10.30 my time right now as of the recording right here. Uh, but I got through uh, recording all the footage and audio and stuff. Just going to do the editing. Uh, and I'm not going to really go on any kind of spoiler of what the game is or anything beyond that, but I'm going to try to get up for the next day or so. Also, I'm still waiting on a couple of items to come in. I know at the end of the last unboxing, Awesome says I'm going to do a short episode because I only had a couple items coming in that I wanted to show. Uh, I don't know when those are coming in. Apparently, it was still being processed. I thought it was already through processing and it was going to be shipped out uh, at the time I recorded that. Uh, apparently, I was wrong. So, I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'll do it again to get as fast as I can to you guys this video. Uh, again, it's going to be a short one unless I get something else to put with it. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that to some extent. I mean, you know, you'll see the video come up is pretty much it, I guess. Uh, another thing, I'm actually looking into doing uh, some other videos, uh, top whatever number of lists, stuff like that, you know, things are my favorite, uh, different subjects, you know, something like that, something a little different. That I've only done one video like that, it was, uh, I think it was my top ten favorite video games of all time. Uh, which uh, I'll go ahead and put uh, right here uh, a card there for you to look and uh, check it out. It's a bit older and it's pretty much all audio. You don't really see me, at least I don't remember. I don't think you see me, but you hear me. Uh, that was when I still used that shit headset. So. <laughs> also, I want to thank you guys uh, you know, for staying with me, watching my videos. Uh, I've been seeing a, an increase in traffic uh, over the last week or so, which, you know, it's fantastic. I'm really happy about that. And I still want to see it grow. Uh, so I still want to see people liking videos, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Uh, so I still want to see it grow because I really want to grow the channel. But I am happy with what I have been seeing and I really want to say thank you to you guys and how much I appreciate it. I really think that's about it for the updates for the channel itself. As far as just ramblings, I guess we're one of the ramblings part now. Uh, I guess I, I guess I'll go ahead and address uh, since we're in the rambling stuff now. Uh, the recent uh, shooting uh, that was down in I believe Louisiana, uh, a guy in the theater, you know, let loose and decided to shoot people. Uh, if I remember correctly, he killed two. And I think injured a few others. Um, according to reports I've seen, we don't know for sure what the reason behind it was. I know that when we came to the shootings uh, down in South Carolina, uh, that was very much a political motivated thing. Uh, it was, you know, a confederacy, or sorry, a new confederacy and white supremacy thing had to do with, uh, I'm trying to remember, apartheid, Rhodesia, I think it was, uh, a South Africa thing, uh, basically white supremacist stuff. And it was a terror attack. It was terrorism, plain and simple. And then, um, we had the one down in Tennessee recently with the uh, Marines. Four Marines lost their lives to, you know, a fundamentalist, radical, you know, Muslim. Uh, he did for political reasons. He did. Religious, political, I mean, it's really all mixed when it comes to, you know, a lot of things when it comes to the Middle Eastern views. Uh, again, this isn't me generalizing anyway, it's just when it comes to a lot of the far right fundamental. Uh, Muslims, the extremists like ISIS and that, political and religious are very mixed. So, again, 
that was terrorism. It was horrible, disgusting. And uh, both these men are staying in trial. So, and that's a good thing, in my opinion. Uh, I'd rather see them, you know, face the consequences rather than take an easy way out. Like the Louisiana shooter did. He shot himself. Uh, he did what he did, shot himself. The problem is we don't know why he did it. Now he had some uh, views that were very white supremacist based, far right, fundamentalist, uh, Greek uh, political group. I, for, I forget. Uh, Golden Sun, I believe that's what it was called. Don't, don't put me on that. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head on this, but it's a far right Greek white supremacist group. And he identified with that. He had had posts about things. Uh, when it came to uh, his views, uh, look, trying to join white supremacy groups and how to make it easier. But he also had a history of abuse and mental illness. And this was documented to the point where his wife at the time had decided to remove all guests from their marital home. And then uh, she eventually, I think, March of this year, filed for divorce. So it's hard to say what the driving force behind this was, if it was mental illness, or if it was uh, politically driven. I, I don't know. No one knows. We're still looking into it. So maybe we'll find out soon. I mean, at any rate, it's just, it's disgusting. It's sad to see you know, that people are just wantonly slaughtering people for stupid reasons, whether it be religious or it be political, what have you, racial. There's no reason for it. I'm not calling, I'm not personally, you know, fighting for the banning of all guns. I understand, as an American, how important guns are to our culture. I understand. I, I do look at history. And I understand the right to own weapons and to have them for protection because, you know, it gets dangerous sometimes. There are people who are going to I get it. But there needs to be something done. Some form of, you know, regulation. Something to stop people with mental defects and illnesses that are completely insane from getting weapons. And while there are things out there to prevent that, it's rarely enforced. Uh, a buddy of mine uh, that I worked with uh, told me that at one point he worked at a gun shop. And a felon managed to get a hold of a gun due to a paper, due to some paperwork error. They contacted the guy, the guy's lawyer and everything, to, you know, bring some well, contacted him and told him to bring that back, you know, whatever. Uh, so, you know, you can't keep it. You've got to bring it back. You're a felon. This is a paperwork mix up. Uh, so the guy's lawyer brings it back. And the police did nothing. A felon got hold of a gun that he's not supposed to be able to do. No, that he's not even supposed to be looking for weapons. He lost those rights completely. And the police did nothing when this came to light. Still reported it. They did nothing. Sure, they'll shoot people. They'll raid uh, marijuana dispensaries. They'll uh, pull people for uh, not using your blinker to change lanes. But they will not enforce gun laws. And that's the problem. It, it is an issue of regulation and enforcement. So I think we need to tighten those up a bit. Again, I'm not saying get rid of guns. I'm not. I'm saying we need stricter background checks and stricter enforcement of those things. So felons and people with documented men, uh, mental illnesses or any kind of mental problems, medical or otherwise, don't get a hold of those weapons. We don't need it. We've seen enough mass shootings over the last few years. It's disgusting frankly. Uh, you know, and my heart goes out to all these people and their families. You know, I could imagine. You know, I've got two kids. Going to the movie theater, I did that just a few weeks ago when I saw Inside Out with my kids and my mother. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't imagine being in that situation. It's disgusting. I know I've seen a lot, but it just, 
and it blows my mind that people just do that. Yeah, I know I kind of went off into a dark thing. It's just, you know, again, this is a rambling video. You know, the, you're at the update part. This is just me talk about shit I want to talk about. On a happier note, Monday, tomorrow, I guess, by the time of this recording, on the 27th, is the 75th anniversary of Bugs Bunny. So that's something kind of cool. I grew up watching uh, the old cartoons, the old shorts. Um, and it's, that's something, unfortunately, Warner Brothers isn't doing anything. They're, they don't recognize the birthdays of their characters like Disney does or other places. But I mean, you know, 75 years. It's a long time for a character to have that much of a hold on a culture. Not just our culture, worldwide. Bugs Bunny is a recognizable character. Much like Mickey Mouse. Not as big and as recognizable as Mickey Mouse, arguably. But yeah, I mean, it's just something really cool. Uh, so, I think that you should go out on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever, and wish Bugs Bunny a happy birthday. Uh, because, you know what? I'm sure a lot of you grew up watching him, uh, watching him do it with uh, Hatfield McCoy's short, or uh, the Abominable Snowman, uh, the Little Penguin, Space Jam, if you want to start with that. But it's, I figured, you know, if we're going to, after that depressing, I want to do something a little more positive. And, you know, one of my favorite cartoon characters, you know, being out for 75 years. I mean, I've been around for over a quarter of that. So three times, three of my lifetimes is how long Bud's Bunny has been around in existence since its creation. And that's kind of my one sometimes. And my kids know about Bugs Bunny. They love Bugs Bunny. So I think it's important. I think you should, like I said, go out there, I don't care, Instagram, Vine, whatever, and wish him a happy birthday. And that's going to include another video update and ramblings. And I want to thank you for you know, spending a little extra time with me today. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and comment down below and don't forget to share uh, whether it's this video or another video on the channel. Whatever one you want to share, your favorite, preferably. However, before we cut out here, I wanted to pose a question to you guys. I've been looking at uh, my analytics for my views and everything uh, at the Let's Plays. And they're not getting the views I want. Now, some of it I can guarantee is due to my you know, kind of shit editing. Because the first few for like Darkness Within were over a half hour. And that's pretty long. And I get that. And the more recent ones were shorter, at least half that length. So I'm getting better at, you know, shortening down what I need to something that's a more manageable time for you guys. And as I understand, now you don't always have time to watch Let's Plays or that long. Now I'm trying to do that. But I also think that maybe it's the games themselves. Now I like Civ 5, it's fun. At least for me. Darkness Within, good fine. The pacing's a bit slow, but then it might just be because I'm a bit slow <laughs> when it comes to figuring out puzzles and clues. I don't know. But it's not about how fun it is for me, at least not in the majority of it. That's part of it. But the biggest part is, is it fun for you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pose a question here. And I want you guys to answer it. I'm going to put annotations up here on the screen. I want you to pick the option that you think is the most reasonable that we should go with. I'm going to give control of the Let's Play's future to you guys. And the question is, do you think I should drop the two games I'm doing for new ones, for something else? Because if it's something that you're not entertained by, I'm not going to be doing you know, those games. I'm not getting rid of the Let's Play thing. Xander's Plays is staying around. I want to do it. But it, it's if the games aren't enjoyable, you think they're not enjoyable, and that's not good. Because I care what do you uh, enjoy. So the question is, do Civ Five and Darts Slim continue? Or do I move on to something new? So remember, you guys get to choose. This one is to keep going, and this one is to change to new games. Uh, the next episode I release is not going to be one of them anyway. It's not going to be Darkness of Zen, and it's not going to be Civ 5. It's a different game, and it's one that's been kind of making rounds lately anyway. So I'm kind of joining the, the flow here, joining the crowd for this one, but it's a game I wanted to try anyway. Uh, but yeah, I want you to go ahead and click whichever one is the most reasonable for you. 
And whatever you decide, whether it's to keep going with them or to stop them and go to another game, I'll follow it. And I'll do it. Because I care what you guys like. I care what you want. I really want to see this channel grow. And I cannot realistically do that without you. And I appreciate it. Any time you put it into watching my videos and sharing with your friends because you enjoy them. I enjoy doing it. And I know I'm still a really small channel. Very, very small. Anytime. But I think it can get bigger. And I think that with your help, we can make this channel something entertaining and fun for more people. So, yeah, with that, my name is Zandros, and as always, until next time, remember, stay awesome. Later.